Welcome everyone to The Honest Review. Today we're gonna to be checking out Battle Beaver Custom's official PlayStation 5 custom controllers. And I got to test this thing out on PlayStation 5 and PC. We're also gonna be giving away this beautiful controller in one of our live streams. If you don't wanna miss that and you value the content, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on noties to not miss that giveaway stream. So starting off, I have to say that the whole process in which I kind of rate an Elite controller is by how well it helps the end user, the player, get their maximum hand utilization while on that Elite controller. And this is done on Elite builds by remapping any of these face inputs or these top bumpers and triggers to buttons or paddles on the back of the controller. This allows the player to be able to move, jump, aim, shoot, slide, heal, loot, open and close doors, build or edit walls in Fortnite simultaneously. Anything that the player would normally have to take their thumb off of the movement and aiming sticks to execute become seamless with those extra inputs on the back of the controller. And although these extra inputs are most commonly sought after for shooter games like Call of Duty Warzone or Apex Legends, they can be useful in almost any style of game. So before we go any further, I have to get this out of the way. When you look at Battle Beaver Customs controllers, we're looking at custom controllers. These aren't cookie cutter, mass produced controllers with a one fits all build like Scuf, Nacon, Razer Raiju, or the Astro C40s, etc. So as quickly as possible, let's run down the performance options that are available coming from Battle Beaver. We start off by specifying how many back buttons we want. We do no back buttons all the way up to four back buttons. You get to specify the placement of those buttons for your specific hand size as well as the type of actuators used, because now you can get the standard press, which is a more firm, solid press, or the silent press, or as I like to call them, the streamer buttons, because they're just really quiet presses, and they also keep your mic from picking up those clicks if you're streaming while using the controller. You then choose the specific assignment of those buttons and whether or not you want a remapping chip. I do recommend if you're going to be getting buttons on the back of your controller that you get a remapping chip. It's just for convenience sake, but you don't necessarily need to have one because now through like PlayStation and Xbox, you can remap your inputs and essentially remap these buttons on the back of your controller because they are mapped to the actual front facing buttons. So you don't necessarily have to get one, but it is nice to have if you're switching between games and you want to be able to just quickly remap the controller for that specific game. There's also a few different styles of back buttons that come with the controller. There's the smooth and then the textured. I do prefer the textured. Next, we customize our triggers and bumpers. For the triggers, we have smart triggers and racer triggers as the upgrade options. Racer triggers will have the first 50% of the normal travel that stock triggers have, and then it reaches a smart trigger, and it goes instantly from 50 to 100% actuation. The second trigger option is smart triggers. This is a hair trigger, you get immediate mouse click like actuation of the trigger with little to no pre or post travel time, letting you fire as quickly as possible and making rapid fire semi auto shots easy. So, if you pretty much only play shooter games, I highly recommend getting the smart triggers. But if you like to play racing games as well, you might want to consider getting those racing triggers or just keeping the triggers stock. And then we have the smart bumpers. This is pretty much the same as the smart triggers. It is a mouse click like press. I don't see this as a must have because the bumpers are already a pretty short travel time, but this does shorten up that travel time and makes it a very quick, clean, precise press, just like the smart triggers. Next, we have the D-pad modification. This separates the stock plastic D-pad into four solid different buttons, helping prevent accidental presses in other directions. This is very useful in fighting games. Under the rumble section, we have the option to completely remove the rumbles from the controller and reduce the overall weight. I personally always get the rumbles removed on any of the Elite controllers that I've ordered. That's because I prefer a lighter controller and none of the games that I play actually have an effect from the rumbles that I need. It is true that certain games though, the rumble is actually a cue to the player and important to their gameplay. So that's gonna be a personal preference based on the games that you like to play and whether or not you want a lighter controller. One of the newer installments to the Battle Beaver upgrade lineup was the touchpad button. This does disable the trackpad on the controller and it installs a button on either the bottom left or right of the trackpad that can be mapped to any singular input. This was huge for a lot of the claw grip players out there. Finally, thumbstick tension. I have talked about thumbstick tension for a long time. If you like to play shooter games and you haven't tried increased thumbstick tension, you need to try it. I started off with increased thumbstick tension, which is about 110 grams worth of resistance. And then I eventually moved up 
to extreme thumbstick tension, which is like 160 grams worth of resistance, and I fell in love with it. Made my aim feel much more gradual and precise. I felt less likely to over aim past my target. And if you've never tried increased or extreme thumbstick tension, I do advise going with the increased thumbstick tension instead of going with the extreme because it's just a huge jump in tension going from stock thumbstick tension to extreme. That's just my personal recommendation. Increased thumbstick tension became so heavily preferred amongst competitive shooter players that other companies started to copy Battle Beaver. For instance, Evil Controllers has increased tension options available now, and the Xbox Elite V2 even attempted to have variable thumbstick tension, but those controllers were horribly flawed, sadly. And Battle Beaver even started selling thumbstick modules with increased tension for the Astro C40 controllers, and they were sold out every time a new batch became available. And if you're going to get increased thumbstick tension on your build, then keep in mind, you only need it for your aiming thumbstick. You don't need it for your movement thumbstick, so that can save you some money. Battle Beaver does have several thumbstick options available for the PlayStation 4 controllers, like the swappable sticks and the varying styles. But for the PlayStation 5 controllers at this moment, they're not officially available, but they will be soon. As for the cosmetic options, PlayStation 4 controllers have several cosmetic options available because they've been out so long. But PlayStation 5 controllers are still getting ramped up with the aesthetic options. I personally would love to see soft touch plates for the PlayStation 5 controller. I feel like this would add a whole new level of control and comfort to the grip of this controller. And I have to say, having a PlayStation 4 controller right next to me and jumping straight into the PlayStation 5 controller, this is a much more comfortable fit in your hands. I know that's gonna be dependent on your hand size, but for my hand size, just a medium hand size, the PlayStation 5 controller feels perfect. I have no doubt that Battle Beaver has big plans for the aesthetic options of the PlayStation 5 controllers, just from the controllers I've reviewed from them, as well as seeing other people's personal builds like on Battle Beaver's Instagram. You imagine it, they more than likely can create it. So I tested this controller on PlayStation 5 and PC, checking for possible thumbstick drift right out of the box, or maybe having some enlarged dead zones after the thumbstick modification, taking that tension up. Uh, smart triggers, smart bumpers, all the buttons, wireless connectivity, remapping, back button performance, everything possible that I could check on this controller. The one issue I did have with this controller was not so much Battle Beaver's responsibility, but more so Sony's. Because Sony has software out that allows PlayStation 4 controllers to work flawlessly while using it on PC. And they haven't updated that software to make these PlayStation 5 controllers work perfectly on PC yet. So while using this on PC, I could get it to connect and I could use it, but after an extended duration of time, it would eventually disconnect sometimes, or I would have flawed inputs and the inputs would start to mess up. And I've seen this in several forms and Sony has acknowledged that they are going to be updating that software for PC use. So it should be remedied soon, but that was my only real issue with this controller. Everything else worked as it should. But I'm sure you all know that every product has its pros and cons. Pros, nobody does controller building quite like Battle Beaver. We don't see the raw performance optimization that Battle Beaver offers anywhere else in the market. So whether or not we're talking about the back buttons and the specific placement of those buttons just to fit your hand size, selecting how many buttons you want in your build and the types of actuators used or adding a button into the touchpad on either side so that you can accent your claw grip style or increasing that thumbstick tension to help your aim or smart triggers, smart bumpers, separating the D-pad for fighting games, all of these things, these customization options and the variety in which you get to choose makes it where any game, no matter what game you like to play and no matter your hand size and your grip style, there is a Battle Beaver build that can help you perform your best in the games that you love to play. And even when we go a step further by looking at their smart pad builds, which we're going to be reviewing in a separate video, uh, we see specific builds ready to go just for shooter games, fighting games, and claw styled grips. We don't see builds and designs like this ready to go optimized for those certain types of players. And also you can send in your stock controllers for customizations and upgrades, and that will save you money on your build. Cons, these are expensive controllers. Make no mistake, the more you customize and upgrade, the more expensive it's gonna be. And then there's wait time. Like I said, Battle Beaver is a true custom shop. So every single controller is unique and made to specification. And due to this, the average wait time on your controller being built and shipping out to you is eight weeks. I know there used to be an express build option where you could pay a little extra and get your controller at an expedited rate, 
And they actually had to disable that option and take it away because of the sheer volume of orders. So it will take time to receive your build. So I also wanted to cover the warranty on these controllers because they can be quite pricey products. I will have it linked in the description of this video as well. Uh, there is a 30 day money back guarantee that comes with the Battle Beaver controllers. And you can also purchase an extended 120 day warranty. But keep in mind, I've used a Battle Beaver for over a year and a half and have tested and tried out over five Battle Beavers now. And the only issue I've had with a Battle Beaver breaking or not functioning on me was because one, Sony didn't update their software for the PlayStation 5 controllers yet. And two, I dropped my Battle Beaver controller. That's the only time I've had a Battle Beaver not work on me. So if you're a rager, those of you out there, you know who you are. You throw your controller the instant you get aimbotted in Warzone like a touchdown pass in the Super Bowl. I have seen pictures from when controllers were sent in under warranty and it was thrown so hard into the wall that the repairman was actually pulling drywall out of the controller. You have got to take care of your elite controllers. Please leave your thoughts and opinions on this beautiful PlayStation 5 custom controller coming from Battle Beaver Customs in the comment section below. I look forward to you guys' thoughts and opinions. The average cost of these controllers fully decked out anywhere from $150 to $250. They can get really pricey if you're really decking these controllers out. So I look forward to you guys' opinions in that comment section below. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? And don't forget, we're gonna be giving away this PlayStation 5 Battle Beaver and this PlayStation 4 Smart Pad coming from Battle Beaver in our live streams. And if you don't wanna miss that and you appreciate our honest reviews, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the content. Notification Squad, you guys are the goats. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Peace.